So the passion for coffee for me started actually because of my mom. Uh, my mom used to own a, a coffee business and I got so passionate with coffee because there's so much to know about coffee. In the beginning, of course, I was making a nice latte art, um, which is nice, um, but I actually started looking at roasting coffee as well, about quality control, about brewing coffee with filter coffee, which is actually really interesting. Uh, and of course, people love to drink coffee and that's the best thing there is, to see people enjoy it and tell me, oh, this is the best coffee I've ever had. That's the, that's the best thing to hear. Yeah. Hi, I'm Mitchell, I'm the owner of Tongo, and we're a specialty coffee cafe and roastery here in Amsterdam. And Tongo is all about sustainability and sustainable practices, and of course, enjoying good specialty coffee. And we've been working on this concept of Sango um, for quite a while, actually. What we do here at Sango as a barista we brew the coffee to perfection, so we want to aim for the perfect cup, which is different for every bean, so you gotta really know your beans, you know? So if you're not familiar with the term specialty coffee, which pops up a lot in a lot of places these days, um, specialty coffee is actually a term used for high quality coffee beans. Um, coffee beans are graded by Q graders, which is a job where they actually do quality control and they look for flavors and notes in the coffee and they give a score if the score is above 80 out of 100 um, the coffee is a specialty coffee um, I'm actually uh, looking for coffees that are 85 and higher uh, they call them exceptional as well uh, very high graded specialty coffees and you can expect a lot of fruity and sweet flavors from those coffees if brewed right um, and you can have an entirely different coffee experience compared to the regular cafe where you just order a coffee after your food, for example. Um, of course, the baristas need to brew the coffee in a certain way to bring out the best flavors of these beans. So specialty coffee really means high quality coffee brewed to perfection. As a roaster, you got to bring out the best out of the beans, just like a barista does. So roasting coffee actually gives the flavor to the beans. Yeah, when we're roasting coffee, it's actually really fun to do because every coffee bean is different. So you really got to get to know your beans and know how to, they react to the heat. There's a lot of things that happens during roasting, um, a lot of chemical reactions. What we start off with is we start to preheat the roaster. There's a drum inside the roaster which rotates uh, quite fast. We call this charge temperature and we charge it usually to 180, 190 degrees Celsius. And we drop the beans in into the roaster and that's where the roasting process actually starts. And you start your timer because that's very important. And the roaster usually shows the temperature inside the drum and the temperature inside the beans. Um, which is very important to know um, because we're going to turn the flame up and we're going to start the roasting process uh, because the coffee beans still have some humidity in them the first phase is called the drying phase which takes about five to eight minutes depending on the roast depending on the bean then we go to the next phase which is the maillard phase where we actually uh, have a lot of chemical reactions and we're gonna caramelize the, the beans, they're gonna roast, they're gonna turn brown. Um, there's a lot of things happening on the inside, a lot of gases are produced. The beans are very hard as a green bean, as an unroasted bean, and because they do not have any holes or pores, they're gonna crack at one point. So we reached the point of the first crack, 
and it's actually a very important part of roasting coffee because this is where the development phase started and this is where the roaster gives the flavor to the beans. So as a roaster you need to come up with a roast profile to get the best out of your beans every time you roast. So it's like a graph and you can see everything you've done during the roast and once you have a roast profile you can start roasting the same way every time with the same beans that you're using uh, to get the same quality control. So when the roast is done and everything is correct if you've done the right thing then we can drop the beans and you have a fresh roast of coffee and that's where the sugars are going to activate and you really have to wait a little bit before tasting the beans uh, especially if you roast lighter it's going to take longer for the coffee to be at its best During the COVID time, there were a lot of coffees to go because we couldn't open up. And there was a lot of coffee to go cup waste. So we used uh, to go cups from sugarcane but gas, which is waste in sugarcane production. And you can just throw it in a bin, it will compost, and it's good for the planet, you know? What we actually do with coffee beans is every six bags that we sell, which is a, a box of coffee, we plant a tree. So we donate a tree to the organization called Trees for All, which is Dutch. Um, and actually plant the trees here in the country so we can go visit, which is actually a lot of fun. Um, and they also plant in the countries where they grow coffee, so um, which is good because uh, there's a lot of CO2 emission in the world and we think that planting trees will help or bring down the CO2 emission because the coffee farmers are going to lose their farms because if it gets hotter, if the planet gets hotter, the elevation of where you can grow coffee is going to go up. We do not want to lose coffee, so that's why we want to support the planet. Uh, and all the little things count, um, and we hope to inspire you to do that as well. But what I like to drink myself is a filter coffee. It's all hand brew, all pour over, and with a pour over you can actually bring out such, such nice flavors. And I think that's super nice and you can really taste the difference per bean. We serve breakfast, we serve lunch, we serve homemade cakes. Um, so you can really enjoy your morning or your afternoon here and enjoy a good coffee. And we have a coffee for everyone, I would like to say. So if you're not sure, make sure to drop by and um, I'm here to help you out. I'm here to serve the best possible drink for your taste. I'll tell you what's best for you. So if you want to come and visit, you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook at sango.amsterdam or visit our website to read more about us and our business at www.sangoamsterdam.com. We hope to see you soon at Sango. Now I'll just start off again. Like, as I'm talking, I'm, I'm going for it, you know? <laughs> Just the first sentence is, uh, yeah, you know, um, let me think. <laughs>